back to work. We gotta fix the broken window that these stupid bitches broke. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. Because she wants the D. If Tom Cruise had a good looking twin. Oh, these are all good. I, I do kind of have sort of a Burt Reynolds thing going on. Isn't that hard? Well, I get confused for Burt Reynolds all the time. Oh, is that so? Women say that we have a similar musk. Uh-huh. Hey, you asked. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Oh my god, you are the whitest man. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope for that. And if not shorts, then what do you normally like to wear? Uh, I don't really like to wear anything at all. Tuxedos are pretty nice, though. Tuxedos, as often as possible. Oh, really? You bet. How cosmopolitan. I didn't realize Boulder was so chic. It is the peak of high society. <laughs> mm, good to know, Dale, yes. Now oh. tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, <laughs> hmm. We're getting real silly, guys. I have a thick beard. A uh, pretty thick beard. Oh, have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. Yeah, I came out of the All womb right. with it. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is, is that okay? Uh... Don't, don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes, tell me. I'm starting to think Delilah wants the D, guys. They're, uh, they're steely. A cold, hard stare. Hmm, like a Siberian husky. <laughs> uh, sure. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Right. Not sure where all that's going. Okay, I guess we got enough boards, though. Board up a broken window. Yeah. It's kind of interesting to think about how two people could become attracted to each other without ever even seeing each other. But the fact that she wants to know what I look like means that looks are still important, guys. Here we go. Okay, come on. Get at least a little protection from the elements here. Who knows how long it would take them to actually replace a full-on window out in this place. I got that window all patched up. So, what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh. Yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task, and uh, I'll give it to you. <laughs> ready to work. Okay, I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Whoa! Time skip. Day nine. Okay. Six days later, guys. I've been playing Game Boy for six days now. Hello, Henry. Having a nice afternoon? I guess. I don't know. I just got here, so... Not too bad. I could get used to it out here. That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. Fuck. That was their names, so... 
Yeah, let's own up to it, I guess. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not gonna be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I mean... Uh... No. As shitty as they are, they don't deserve to be dead and missing, I guess, so... I guess. I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Hey, whatever, man. I got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong to those girls, okay? And now it's another six-day time skip. Day 15. What is the actual date, I wonder? We're here till September 1st. Henry. Henry, wake up. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. Uh, okay. What do you want? Hey, you big dumb idiot. What? Julia? You're the big dumb idiot. <laughs> that sounds like something I would say. You're a big dumb idiot. Oh, baby, you sound tired. Mm, I am. Are you having a nice time? I was till you showed up. Some weird stuff happened. I'm fine. Are you? Sure. Are you? Everything good there? Jules? What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. Mm, okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. You jelly? Okay. So I guess, yeah, she wasn't actually here. She was just getting a call patched in, which explains why she called in the middle of the night, because I guess she's somewhere where the time zone is different. I don't know. She sounds Australian. Hike north to retrieve supplies. She asked to bring supplies all the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand-delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90-degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> right. So, it looks like we're back in the spot where we just hiked through, guys. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and all I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. Is there anything else you want to tell me about her? Not really? Uh, what was I not honest about? This is intriguing. Let's try it. Yeah, actually. Look, I wasn't honest with you about her. Well, why not? Because I messed up. She got really early Alzheimer's and I lost her. She's still alive. She's being taken care of back in Australia because that's where she's from. She's... she's there. Oh my god, Henry. And that's it. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Yeah. <sighs> Henry, listen. I, oh my god, I'm so sorry you've gone through that. I, I don't know if you've thought of it this way, but... Her family is taking care of her, and you need to take care of you. Thanks. I'll let you keep hiking. Yeah, that's generally how I try to look at it. Well, I'm glad that we got to go back to that conversation and come clean with her, because I don't really want to lie to Delilah. I kind of like to keep her on my good side. And, you know, the more we open up to her and talk to her about these things, the closer we'll be. Now, I'm trying to figure out how the hell I'm supposed to get past all this. I... 
Okay, I'm supposed to be heading north, which means I can probably just avoid this fence altogether, so... Let's see. Um, I need to be going this direction, I guess. Loop around the fence. I feel like there wasn't a path up around this way before, but maybe something's different now. I don't know. We've had some serious jumps, some time skips in the story, guys. Whatever happened with the investigation? Was I ever questioned? These are things I want to know. This is one I already got, right? Yeah, still empty. Uh, nothing new to look at there. Okay. Jonesy Lake and Two Forks Lookout. Just gonna ignore that. This is like proper north right up here, right? So maybe I can get up here and drop down. Ooh, that is a very steep drop. That's probably not going to be safe, no matter how much rope I have. <laughs> I don't have an anchor point anyway, so I guess forget about it. Up there I see some rope. Okay, so if I come up here, I can climb all the way back up there. Is this where I want to go? Right now I'm facing kind of northeast, and I'm... Yeah, this is the direction that I want to go. Okay. Man, I must be pretty buff by now, guys. Doing all this climbing and hiking. This would be a good way to get in shape. If you could, like, mentally prepare yourself to actually get out and do all this shit. <laughs> you wouldn't really have much of a choice. You'd be throwing yourself into a scenario where... You know, you're just getting enough food to stay alive. You've got to expend energy and... Use your muscles to get around places. I doubt that they're going to be dropping in... Big supply boxes full of Doritos and Tasty Cakes. So by the end of the summer, you know, probably be in pretty good shape. Maybe Julia will love us again. I don't think that's actually the problem with Julia. <laughs> but, you know, if she becomes more attracted to us, it could have positive effects on the relationship anyway, so whatever. Now, it seems that we're pretty close to the supply drop already. 60 feet right over here. Oh, this is the one I was at before. This box was empty when I got to it the first time. Let's see what's here now. Yeah, I can call it in. Found the supplies. Oh, good. Uh, enjoy. Oh, I will. Supplies for Two Forks, Spruce, and Moss Peak. Okay, so I guess <laughs> I could take all of them, but I'm going to do the correct thing and only take mine. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? <laughs> I wonder what happens if you do take the others. I'm pretty sure that was really an option there. I'm very curious now. Day 64, guys. We've been here for two months already. Oh. Seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression, but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Oh, I am honored. The Flapjack Fire. Delilah. <laughs> oh, those are both good options. So, no ideas, huh? Let's go with Flapjack, though. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. It's a little, uh, callback there so for us. creek down the hill, and, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? Go skinny dipping in the creek? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. 
She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. It's a good idea. I've had a bad time with tequila. <laughs> I would if I was with you. Oh! I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Yeah, I am. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Oh. Something's developing here, guys. Me too, sure you are. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. I wish I was over there. Well, then get your ass over here. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk about these radios. We could, um, you know. This is all moving very fast. What? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect this to be going down this quickly, but it looks like uh, we got a proper romance option going on here. Interesting, very interesting. But w what about Julia? I'm still kind of like... You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. Well, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just... Let me know what you find. There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem bear, fuck that. Is problem a euphemism? Uh, does problem actually mean murderer? Like, how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? <laughs> oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Ugh. Can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that is kind of a terrifying prospect. But all part of the job, right, guys? We going fishing. Oh, guys. The girls probably disappeared right around this lake. What if I end up pulling up their remains? Jesus Christ. Someone left their clipboard out here. It could have been one of the fish and game folks. See if there's a name or a credential or something. I can call it in. Well, let's see what we got here. <laughs> Just toss that down right there. What the... Uh, it's... Holy shit. What's going on? You didn't actually find a bear, did you? Someone has written down what we said to each other. Have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. Okay, this Wait, is a little... Something's out here. What the... What Henry? the... I'm worried. Me too! What the hell was that noise? You didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating... I don't. Just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh God, I don't know why I just called you that. Uh, I don't think I eat any mushrooms. Did you guys? It sounds like radio static. Like somebody's just watching me and reporting on me. What the fuck? Oh, here it is. I found a walkie-talkie out here too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. Get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. We'll do. Oh! What the fuck? Henry, are you there? What happened, Henry? I. Holy hell, 
I just, I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with the radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um, uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's, it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's where you saw that damn fence. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you, are you sure you saw what what you saw, Henry. Maybe you pissed off some more campers and they came back to sucker punch you. I mean, I didn't really see anything, but I know That's what just, I felt. Oh, this just seems like a like a misunderstanding or something. Are you are you sure you were actually attacked? There are people listening to our conversations. The person or these people were hiding in the bushes down here. What the fuck, D? I don't know, Henry. This sounds crazy yeah and you're not the one who just saw our words on a clipboard out in in the middle of nowhere those words were from two weeks ago i know they were so what's to say that they don't have transcripts from three four or five weeks ago our entire relationship friendship our our whole summer someone is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking to god knows who What is going on behind that fence? That's a great question. What do you think is going on behind that fence? <sighs> Apparently a lot of following you around taking notes, which is unfucking believable, Henry. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, I I'm on my way to Wapiti Meadow. I'll let you know what I find. Okay. There there's got to be a reasonable explanation. Also, I'm going to call around and see if anyone's had anything weird happen to them or seem spooked. Uh, I don't want to make this bigger than it is yet, you know? Yeah, understood. Yeah, okay. Hike safe. Yeah, thanks. Well, I think it's fair to say that shit just got real, guys. Okay, first things first. I'm pretty sure we saw Wapiti Station referenced in one of these notes. Missing persons bulletin, maybe? Missing person... Uh, no, I don't think it's that one. Here we go. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have got hung up. So Dave did something down in Wapiti that the sheriff didn't like, but it doesn't sound like it was anything like crazy illegal or something. But something went down there. Secondly, can I, how do I re-equip my... Uh, fishing pole. I don't think I can. I, I held down B to put it away. I kind of want to run around with it, though. Like, A, because I wanted to try and fish. And B, it's the closest thing I have to a weapon. So, I'd like to keep it out. But I don't know how to bring out stuff that I put away. If I even can. All I know is, I was starting to feel pretty comfortable with this game. I was like, oh, it's going to be a romance story between me and Delilah. We're going to have to make a choice between Delilah and Julia. And it's going to be sad and touching and serene and natureful. And then it's like, nope, just kidding. You actually are in a fucking horror movie. Somebody's spying on you and stalking you and jumping you and beating you and recording you. And uh, it's just too bad. You're really just going to have to deal with that because that's how it is. Okay, I'm at the fence. I don't see anyone around, but I'm not sure I can get past it. How big is it? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> we'll see what you can do to get past it. I'll try. Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. 
Yeah, I mean, obviously whoever put this up did it because they don't want us in, and it seems relatively new, so it's probably not going to have any flaws. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay, so does this require a key? Or is it a number comp? I can't even interact with it. So that's not helpful at all. What the hell is this? Oh, can I beat the padlock off with this? Can't get in. Look, I'm not going to be able to get into this place. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, if you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Well, okay. That is a solid plan, I suppose. Where are these assholes? Down by Ruby River. So... I'm right here at the gate. Where is Ruby River? Wow, that's like on the other side of the camp. Are you kidding me? I've got some hiking to do, apparently. Wow. Okay. Well... Guess I'll head south. I mean, I wonder if I can break off from the five mile creek path right there. Because then I could hit cache 308. Or it might make more sense to come down, break east, and then go down to the medicine wheel and then go south from there. I don't know what's open to me. Wow. We've got some hiking to do though, guys. That's really the only thing I know right now. We had better get a move on. So here's my question to you guys, because I'm still trying to figure this out myself. You guys think we can trust Delilah? I mean, it seems for the most part she's been pretty straight up with us. But also, we did have that one part right in the beginning of the game where she had a conversation with somebody. And we kind of overheard it, and we don't really know what she was talking about. I mean, it wasn't super suspicious. But it's in the game for a reason, you know? There's... <laughs> something's going on there. And it could be a red herring, or it could be a clue that she knows more than she's letting on. I don't know. It's going to be difficult when we actually figure out. Because, like... We're developing feelings for her. So, if it turns out that she is working against us somehow, it's going to feel bad. And we're going to have to make a choice, I think. All right, which way do I want to go from here? Let's see. I want to keep going south and then loop around. So, yeah, we actually want to go the southwest route, which is this way. Hoping this is the correct course. Maybe just one of many correct courses. If we run into some kind of roadblock, it's going to be really annoying. What's going on over here? Some interesting looking foliage here. <laughs> Anybody out on the lake? Damn it, let me use my goddamn fishing pole. Oh, oh, I never did take a picture of the campsite. I really should have done that. I completely forgot because of all the dialogue that was going on right there. I'm still kind of at a point where, like, I don't really want to be using my pictures because what if I need them for other things that we find? But that's probably the wrong attitude. I should probably be using them. Saw a walkie thing. Oh, the flapjack fire. Come on. Somewhere off in the distance right here. Stupid. Ugh, okay. I think we'll have other opportunities. Oh no! Stupid block trails. There's really no way past some of this underbrush that's grown over the trail. 
See, the thornier a trail is, the less inclined a ranger is to want to deal with it. They'll just hike or take their horse a different way. So you're saying that you leave them overgrown on purpose to fuck over the rangers? It's kind of a dick move, isn't it? Aren't your rangers like your pals out here? Don't you want to be working with them? To make life better for both of you? Okay. I guess I should stay on the beaten path. This area is pretty overgrown. Kind of difficult to get around. Wonder what the purpose of the Polaroids even is, guys. At the end of the day, like I, I hope I'm not screwing myself by not using them. It's probably the kind of thing where it's just like for memories, right? Like once you beat the game. East of the lake. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? <laughs> I empathize with you, Delilah. It's very easy to miss those kinds of things. All right, so we're going to stay on the path going east. Then we're going to break south when we find a fork to the right. This is a large open path. would be very simple. Uh, we don't want to break that way, right? It'd be very simple to get lost out here, I think. Oh, am I going to have to climb? Hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Should we call the cops? Are the lookouts telling the truth? These are all good options. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what? Henry, tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry, I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? All right, I'm headed toward the camp anyway. Okay, keep your radio close to you. Hey, what well, you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Intercepting our frequency? Uh, almost certainly. Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No. I'm not, okay? Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. I mean, honestly, intercepting radio frequencies is not that hard if you know how to do it. So, I don't even know why we would be surprised about that. Um, okay. I think I missed the spot that I was I trying to get to. Yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling... But I can go this way. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Maybe that's why he abandoned his pack. Maybe he'd actually enjoy it. He had his dad to protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're, you're probably right. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. All right, we made it to the medicine wheel. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. 
is it really? For a pile of rocks arranged in a weird circle? Not to, like, speak ill of Native American heritage or whatever, but, like, I would not drive three hours just to look at this. It's interesting. It's cool. I'm glad I'm seeing it right now, but, uh, nope, not worth a three-hour detour. I don't know what I was expecting, but it wasn't this. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, so now we are at the medicine wheel. We're actually pretty darn close to Ruby River, but I don't know how these paths are going to shape up once we get down close to, uh, close to where we're going. Like, can we get across the river to cash 308? I mean, we have to. There's a cache there, and it's in between two forks of the river, so there has to be a way to reach it. We're going to have to cross somewhere, regardless. So, okay. I think this is actually a good stopping point for me, guys. i got to take a break, but when we come back, we will continue on towards Ruby River and uh, hopefully get some answers about what the hell's going on in this place because shit has popped off and uh we are not safe it's a bad feeling i don't like it but i'm enjoying this game so thank you for watching guys i'm dude long couch and i'll catch you guys in the next part of firewatch take care